a lot of folks relate to color through their memory, um, and that does play into my work, and I've made works that specifically address experiences or relationships with people or places. The quality of this fabric is nice because it's slightly translucent and so in layering the strips of fabric um, the colors have the potential to kind of mix with one another and also to just have light come through them. A lot of the colors are, are really highly saturated, um, pinks and sort of mustard yellows and greens and turquoises. The hot pink and the mustard yellow were really the ones I was the most drawn to. When I'm actually in the studio, it's much more intuitive. I'm not trying to say something specific with color or use color in any specific symbolic way. It's, it's almost like I don't even think about what I'm doing sometimes. It's just that I kind of have to, and I've done it since I was a child. Like, I've just always loved working with my hands. I like the challenge of, of kind of making do with whatever materials are around. So when I was little, I would use scraps of wood, and now I use scraps of wood. It's like something's just never changed. I wanted to really engage the viewer by sort of forcing him or her to, to move about the work and find that sweet spot. And, you know, it's, it's quite likely that Lots of people walk right past it and don't see it at all, but I kind of like that surprise or that reward for those who actually take the time and look. I just love color and am really satisfied to, to kind of have this own little world where I can experiment and play with it. And, um, and you know, if, if people are interested in looking at it, that's even better.